There's no escape from saving thousands. Save yourself during October Freight Fest at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall. Your spirits will rise with savings up to 10,000 off on new Jeeps, Chrysler's, Dodges, and Rams. It's your choice. Get a new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4, just $169 a month. Run, Bill, run! Hide behind that 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, also just $169 a month. And if you need credit, we can help you get it. Go to Route 23 in Sussex. Jeep celebration event Ram Power Days. We go to Vernon Township High School and High Point scores first early in the first quarter while Chad Muzilli busts up the middle and he cruises 73 yards for the touchdown and High Point has the quick 7-0 lead over the Vikings. Vernon has a lightning quick answer. Watch Mike Stefkovich break through into the secondary and he's gone 70 yards for the touchdown but the PAT is blocked and High Point has a 7-6 lead over the Vikings. That touchdown run fired up the Vernon defense. Watch Kevin Parisi come flying off the edge for the sack and a loss of 10 yards. High point, we get the ball back here on the Vernon punt. Watch Jake Phillip play it on the hop, reverse field, then cut back, and he races to the pylon for the 53-yard touchdown return. That was probably about 80 yards, and High Point goes up 14-6 with 321 left in the first quarter. What a run. We go to second quarter action with High Point holding the 14-6 lead. And quarterback Jake Luzinski adds to it here as he gets into the end zone from 11 yards out. And it's 21-6, three minutes into the quarter. High point scores again. This time it's Jake Luzinski rolling out. And he finds Robbie Toro for the touchdown. And it's 28-6 Wildcats over the Vikings. High point really takes control of the game here. Watch Chad Muzzelli rumble in from eight yards out. And High Point has a commanding 35-6 lead at the half. Okay, third quarter we go and Vernon looks to pass, but it's Travis Tallamy with the sack for High Point, forcing another Vernon punt. Then Chad Mazzilli caps his big night here with his 23-yard scoring run as he finished with 181 yards rushing for three touchdowns and it's 42-6 High Point midway through the third. High Point's defense throttled Vernon all night while Ray Millian come flying in for the big loss for the Wildcats. But watch this wacky play on the Vernon punt as it deflects into the hands of John Doyle, and Vernon has it first and 10 from the high point 34. And the Vikings score here on this Gio DiMartino run, but high point would post the 42-14 victory to move to 5-2 on the season and pick up big group three power points as Vernon falls to 0-7. We knew we needed to come out with the same mentality, that just uh, have fun and play our game, and uh, definitely not underestimate a team that's still very capable and very good of uh, a team. We had to be uh, composed, you know, it was a big game, they were rivals, uh, we were riding a roller coaster all year, going up and down, and we want to start going up at the end of the season. We were really just focusing on not underestimating them. They're 0-6, it's like, you know, that a be like if they beat us, like it would make their season, like to win over high points. So. You just made sure all week we didn't underestimate them. Kept thinking that, like, we kept, like, had the mindset how they're a great team. I mean, we had to play great. We had to match them. And uh, that's how we won. I'm here with Coach Delaney, coach of the High Point Wildcats. Coach, after coming off a win last week at Kittatinny, coming into this game with group three power points on the line, what can you say was your game plan? Uh, we just wanted to continue what we were doing last week. We, we need to be able to run the football for us to be successful play good in the kick game, and uh, you know tackle well on defense. The offensive line did a great job of keeping the ball in the red zone and executing tonight. What can you say about the line and their performance? Yeah, they're, they're a good group. They're, they're a close-knit group. Um, they work very well together. Uh, they, they communicate, you know, uh, they communicate with each other very well and, you know, with our blocking schemes and whatnot, and they, they do a great job of it. Lastly, offense, defense, and special teams really came together and worked as a unit. What is the mindset of the team going into next week's Parsippany game? It's the same thing to, to uh, continue momentum, to try to get better every week, and, and uh, you know, try to execute in all three, like you said, all three phases of the ball. 